Dopor is a place that is full of surprises around every corner. Dopor is so much to offer with historic areas, places to go fishing, and many more fun and exciting things. It all starts when you arrive. Whether you fly or drive in, Topol will hit you with its almighty power. Topol is an active caldera, however, that shouldn't scare you. Topol is very unlikely to erupt anytime soon. However, being a caldera, it has a whole ton of history. For instance, the Takanu Historic Wharf down towards Tūrangi and our three mountains. Takanu was once the dock for goods and people to be transported from the northern part of Lake Topo, the part you may be most familiar with, to the southern part of the lake, Tūrangi. This is because around the time when the boats operated, around 1880, there were hardly any roads, and if there were, they weren't very reliable. However, the service stopped in 1920, and the wharf was left to rot. However, in 2003, the wharf was restored back to its original condition. This took a lot of hard work, however, it is very much worth it. It is a must visit while you are in Topo. There are 40 rivers feeding into Lake Topo, the largest being the Tongariro River, yet only one that leads out. That would be the Waikato River. There are many things you can do on this river, some of which may seem funny. However, you could walk alongside the river, go for a swim at the natural hot pools on the hooker track, you could even go for a river float. However, you might want to do this in the summer. A river float is when a group of people, family, school group, friends, grab a flotation device, and it can be anything. If you think it will float, it's been down the white cuttle. There have been tires, big birds like swans or flamingos, kayaks, everything. As you float down, one of the first stops that you might want to make is a rope swing. Many people will stop here and jump in for a bit of fun. After that, you have options on how you want to go around the island. The island, of course, being called Cherry Island. Cherry Island is an island on the Waikato River. They used to be as petting zoo. Unfortunately, it closed down some years ago. You then end up finishing your trip at Reed's Farm. They too have a rope swing for you to enjoy after your float. Whilst in Topo, you might want to spend a day on the lake visiting the Māori rock carvings. These are a spectacular sight to see, with 26 supplementary carvings off to the side, complementing the main piece. These carvings are only accessible by boat, but are 100% worth it. The main carving is of Nata Roirangi, a Māori chief who came across the land now known as Topo. If you get a chance whilst in Topo, you should visit the Topo Museum or do some research of your own on Nata Roirangi. He has a fascinating story. In the story of Nata Roirangi, Nata Roirangi climbed Mount Tohara and threw trees at what we now call Whare Waka. He saw many things whilst on Mount Tohara, one of which being the group of mountains down the south side of the lake. These of course being Mount Ropehu, 
Narhoi and Tongariro. Whilst in Topo, one of the things you should definitely be thinking about is climbing Mount Tohara so that you can fully understand what Nataroi Rangi saw. After you summit Mount Tohara, you can cast your eyes south. Try to look for the smallest mountain, or the one that looks like it's had the top low enough. This is Mount Tongariro. That is another great climb if you are still in Topo and you aren't too sore from Mount Tohara. The views are very impressive when you stand at the top of a red crater and are looking directly at Mount Narohoi. Join Natoroirangi in taking a peek into the place we call home.